okay so let us let us first understand the concept of a mole and and how it actually comes from some another fundamental constant that is that is one atomic mass unit okay which is now called unified mass okay so we have one u is equal to one point one point six six zero six into ten to the power minus twenty four grams okay so so in terms of kg it will become one point six six zero six into ten to the power how much Minus twenty-seven kilograms. Okay. So this is one unified mass, and this is equal to what? This is equal to what? This is one twelfth the mass of a C twelve atom. Why we say C twelve? Because there is also something called C fourteen. Okay. So, so, so now let us try to understand. So, if I say there is something called sodium, okay, what is the mass of a sodium atom? Twenty three u. What is the mass? Twenty three. We do not write normally anything, but it is actually u. Twenty three times. One twelfth the mass of a carbon twelve atom. That is what it means. Okay. Now, so twenty three u. Twenty three into one point six six zero six into ten to the power minus twenty four grams. This is what it means. Now, now what happens? Twenty three into one point six six zero six into ten to the power minus twenty four grams contains one particle. So if I take so much of mass of sodium, I'll find I'll have one particle with me, one atom with me. Fine. So uh, if if I have one gram, it contains one upon twenty three into one point six six zero six into ten to the power minus twenty four particles. Hmm? And twenty three grams contains twenty three into One point six six zero six into ten to the power minus twenty four into twenty three grams. So so many particles. Come to say say something else. Say. Huh? Uh, it's it's mass of what? Let's say. Huh? Calcium forty. So calcium is forty u. Calcium is forty u, which is forty into one point six six zero six into ten to the power minus twenty four grams. So if I have forty into one point six six zero six into ten to the power minus twenty four grams contains one. One particle. The same calculation will hold for a compound as well. Try to understand. Okay, so one gram contains one point six six zero six into ten to the power minus twenty four forty into so much. So forty gram contains forty gram contains one upon. Forty into one point six six zero six into ten to the power minus twenty four into forty. 
cancels cancels what am i left with actually i am left with 1 upon u in grams always are you getting the point okay so it is it is always be it say be it say anything say say any other compound hmm? say co2 so what happens 12 plus 16 into 2 so that is 12 plus 32 44 fine so so i'll say 40 40 for u that is 44 into 1.66 44 into 1.6606 into 10 to the power minus 24 grams okay grams so 0, 06 into 10 to the power minus 24 grams contains one one particle of that right one molecule of co2 okay so 1 gram contains 1 upon 44 into 1.6606 into 10 to the power minus 24 so 44 grams contains 44 upon 44 into 1.6606 into 10 to the power minus 24 so so it actually becomes how much is one mole of co2 now so one mole of co2 contains how much how many number of particles Okay, so, 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 so just hold on, we do not go to one mole right now. So, it contains how many particles? See, 1.6606, 1.6606 into 10 to the power, into 10 to the power minus 24, okay. It is 6.0219198. It is 6.02 into 10 to the power minus 23 particles. It is this that you know as a constant one mole if I if I if I round it off. Yeah, sorry, 23. Extremely sorry, extremely sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Maybe that is to match this and that. Hmm. Okay. So 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of particles. Be it an atom, be it an atom, be it a molecule. Okay. So what does it mean? It means that that a CO2 uh, and Na will be containing. So all of them are the same. All of them are the same. Okay. So let me write it. So it's 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. Okay. 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. You understand how Avogadro came to this conclusion pretty simple hmm? if he would have said 1 kg hmm, kilogram molecular mass it would have become 10 to the power 3 more so it would have become 10 to the power 26 nothing so great about it right it is nothing but 1 upon u in grams no he had to do some other things but but okay so that is the genesis of of Avogadro's number so now you understand what happens is if you take so many particles of carbon dioxide Avogadro's number of carbon dioxide it will it will it will have a mass of how much whatever is its mass in u for one for one molecule or atom or whatever here is a molecule so whatever is the mass of one molecule in u you replace it by g and it will have one mole 
करेक्ट दिस इज द ओनली कंसेप्ट ऑफ मोल दैट यू शुड बी नोइंग बियॉन्ड दैट इट इज नथिंग कैर इट बियॉन्ड दिस इट इज नथिंग सो इट विल कंटेन एन ए नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स विच विल हैव अ मास ऑफ हाउ मच वॉट एवर इज द मास फॉर वन ऑफ दैम द यू यू रिप्लेस बाय जी सो 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 वन so so one na or or i'll say 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 particles i am saying particles because i'll be considering atoms as well as the molecules so so if it, here it was 23 u for one remove this right g what was it for calcium 40 u remove it right it g for co2 it was 44 u remove it right it g mm-hmm. why do we need u u is u came before u is the more basic unit from u we got avogadro right 